Hello everybody, I'm making this video on this uh, DC600 8 transistor MOSFET amplifier that I built for a customer here in San Antonio. And uh, let me show you the inside of it a little bit of here. It's an 8 transistor. And uh, I'm going to show you that uh, all my meters here get ready to do a little quick test and uh, but before that um, I'd like to say that the um, this box requires a driver so I went ahead and built him a, a driver okay a little four pill MOSFET driver too okay and then of course as anybody knows that builds them and all that um, and since these are MOSFETs they, they require a digital lead control circuit it's recommended to have and you don't really need it but it's recommended to have some kind of monitoring system uh, fan kits and all that that is very important uh, factor when you build these MOSFET boxes because these transistors they tend to want uh, their control since they're MOSFETs they have a gate system so uh, uh, the computer microprocessor you can build is uh, you can control the drive to it and everything like that for right now but this is just roughly a, just a raw test um, the kits are not put, the fan kits are not put in yet and all that it's real hard to get them here in, in, San, in the United States uh, over the country uh, like in Europe you can get these um, DMN fan kits and these monitor controls and basically what it is it's like a computer they um, they monitor the heat temperature uh, the drive and all that and uh, it's awesome it's a real nice piece of equipment that uh, it's a final add-on and uh, when you build these boxes to give good performance maximum performance I highly recommend that and of course with line conditioners and stuff like that too that's important too as you see my other videos uh, I talk about line conditioner at the same time too I had to make a, uh, a remote control box here and simply what this does it can make sure it controls the um, the, the, the key up the drive to the uh, transistors uh, good thing about these here versus a conventional remote control boxes um, that you see out there on the market most of them are usually mobile rec remote control uh, and they still have the tendency where somebody with big power can actually key up the, uh, the remote control even regardless if it's on or off it'll still have that chance to deal with these here it's strictly a um, uh, based on the radio whatever radio you're going to use to drive it it only allows the radio to talk to the driver and the final boxes for it to operate and as you can see, let me show you here you see I got a little label called uh, master that's the master if you put whatever radio you're going to use in there of course you have to put the uh, DMM control inside the radio itself whichever radio you're going to use uh, re uh, system and that's the master the master is the um, the radio and then you have slave 2 and then slave 1 and uh, do whatever your preference is you can use that for the driver or drive uh, in this case I'm using slave 1 is the big box and slave 2 is the driver box okay and simply how it works is um, you got the radio that I'm using this is just using a Connex okay that's MOSFET and, and it's really 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 important to make sure that if you're gonna run these new systems now these days it's best to keep everything on you know the same class the same type of transistor so the radio is MOSFET the driver is MOSFET and of course the big box is MOSFET <laughs> okay so uh, okay we would do is you turn on here's the master switch that gets that's on the off position turn on your drive okay I'm gonna turn on the driver here okay that's the button this other one's receive amp but the no, I'm not worrying about that right now uh, okay and then as you can see here the little blue light comes on that's for the driver okay and as you can see the blue light will turn off if I turn off the driver okay there we go the receive amp okay let me show you this here okay here's the main switch you see how the remote right here so that's ready to go and then the, this light's going to light up when I do a key if I do a key up hello hello okay all systems go okay so let's take a look at the uh, as you've seen them before in my other videos I make um, what I'm using is a bird type sampler um, that meter right there the analog meter measures carrier power this other meter measures the uh, it's got a bird PEP kit built inside of it and that strictly just reads audio PEP um, bird kit it, you know that's a good uh, test equipment bird 
and then I got the digital ones here too okay and then that meter right there I'm using that one strictly for carrier that's going to monitor the AM carrier and this is going to monitor the audio so let me just show you on the radio here uh, hello, 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 hello. audio hello, hello. So the radio is doing the maximum audio is 85 uh, the carrier is about 58 watts okay okay I'm going to turn on the driver now okay turn on the driver hello audio hello 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 hello, hello. okay so the driver I got it set at 224 uh, and then the carrier the dead key is about 169 that's pretty good that's really 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 okay with it and then uh, Gonna turn on the big boy here. And you got the blue light on, then I go over to the remote. Make sure that gets turned on. Okay. So now everything's all turned on. Okay. Hello, audio. So you can see it's doing uh thousand and twenty four SWR one point one. Uh, carrier is showing about 163. Let me do it again. Hello, audio. Yeah, about 292. Now this is just primary what I'm doing there. Hello. Okay, that's the, just the drive on. Okay. Yeah, we got about 209. Okay. And as you can see on the analog meter, the bird meter here. Hey! Hello! Okay. Hey! Audio! do a little uh, as you can see I'm going to go to the driver here and just to show you uh, you can do it with both hands here but you can actually change the drive pitch on it where it'll do you get it to do a little bit more or less drive on there and it's 955 okay so there there we go got the driver got your 8 pill I mean the hey I keep saying 8 pill but 8 transistor pills were uh, were called pills back in the because uh, they look like pills but these don't look anything like pills they they're squared. So thanks for looking at this video. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.